Well, just had a severe thunderstorm warning issued for Bosque County. I'll show you that on radar momentarily, but you notice the hazy look to the skyline once again today. There was an air quality alert in effect, air quality unhealthy for sensitive groups. The smoke from those Canada fires, very negligible. Most of this was due to low level ozone levels. 90 at DFW, 91 Love Field, 90 at this hour at Alliance Airport. The uh, air quality did reach 104 parts per billion, which is just up into the unhealthy for sensitive groups. Once you get to 151 or higher, that's when it's considered unhealthy. Most of the days that we do see poor air quality here this time of the year fall in that unhealthy for sensitive groups here in the Metroplex. Here's a look at the radar and you can see these storms continue to be very widely scattered. They are slow movers so when you get trapped underneath one of them they produce some very heavy rain. There's one in progress around Kennedale southeast of Fort Worth. There you can see some outflow moving in from the south that could potentially help to enhance this storm here. We'll have to watch that. That same gust front is what kicked off this little cluster of storms around the Cleburne area with frequent cloud to ground lightning strikes and some heavy rain. It looks like it's drifting off to the east. Our warning is for this cell down in Bosque County. It could have up to uh, let's say nickel sized tail and uh, these storms when they do start to collapse that's when you see the threat of localized downburst winds increase and there's the potential that when that happens this one could produce wind gusts up to 60 miles an hour and some additional heavy storms moving across Hill County and the Lake Whitney area. What we see now will die out very quickly this evening. Tomorrow there's going to be mainly a dry day. There could be a few leftover showers to our west tomorrow night. It it's Saturday that we look for our better chance of scattered storms, and a few of those could potentially be severe. Slight risk of severe weather Saturday afternoon, primarily into Saturday evening across much of North Texas. 92 today's high, 69 the low, 90 and 71 your averages now for this time of the year. Looking out there once again at that skyline, current temperature readings in the upper 80s to low 90s, winds light and variable, and the humidity now is at 42%. So there you can see how quickly these storms are going to fizzle out as we head through this evening. Overnight will be dry. And then tomorrow, dry again and hot. Temperatures will likely be a few degrees warmer than they were this afternoon with more sunshine on tap. Can't rule out a couple of stray storms out there. And then Saturday, two things we'll be watching. One is a complex of storms that will likely dip south of the Red River beginning Saturday morning to our north and east. The outflow from this will likely kick off additional thunderstorms here in the Metroplex and points east as we head towards midday in the afternoon. And we'll also have to watch out to our west. There's going to be a very sharp dry line that could be the focus for a few more storms. 72 early tomorrow morning. We'll heat it up to 95, 92 Saturday, all the way up to 97 on Sunday. One more chance of scattered storms early next week, and that will be followed by heat. 98 Wednesday and perhaps our first triple digits on Thursday.